Hi, so today I'm going to focus on this question by this Redditor. So it's trying to get to build like a book club for people to read books every time they read it. So he's thinking that he will start a book club for his office colleagues. So I'm going to show you how we can do it in Notion now. So let's get started. So in Notion, so I already built a database for you. So basically there are two databases here. So one is called Books Database and one is uh, called I think it's My Books or Ratings. Let me just show because I just hide the database title so you can do that if you want to hide it just for aesthetically wise for now let me just see what did I put okay so I was I renamed it as a reading corner so that's what I name it so we have the reading corner and then books so the idea is that you create all your books inside this uh, book database here so for our example here we have two books right now the law of the rings atomic habits so by right, they, the users do not have to go through here. So what they need to do is just, they can go to the Lord of Ring, for example, expand it. And then here at the bottom, there's something called add ratings. So what they can do is, for example, I want to, I've, I've read this book, right? You know, I read it. So just select add ratings and then add new. So what I can do is I can just tap on the untitled. So I would recommend just maybe typing that name and then select the ratings. So that's like select rating and then one to five. So maybe four. So once you see, you can actually see it's four here. And then maybe another person came in like George. And they put a five. And then maybe Jessica. So I don't really like it. Two. And you can see like it's being calculated like overall, just the average ratings. So this is how you can kind of have like a shared page of everyone commenting. So for them as well, they can include like, individual notes inside. So that's one other function you can do. The second one is that for let me see okay so yeah that's it for this part and the second part is that for them like let's say they want to track their own books right inside notion as well so they can do that as, uh, also so basically they can have at the bottom here this is like reading corner this is just basically the, the uh, all the ratings has been provided but then we have something called my books so this is where you can track like the books that has been created uh, the rating that's been created by you so for example you want to start reading the law of the rings right so you can create it and they can keep track of here so this filter is designed so that you only show any ratings that's created by you because i'm doing an example right so everyone is actually assigned to me so i can kind of show you what it means so in notion itself every time you create an item right you actually track like who is the owner so there's a property called created by so in this in this case it's created by me but then if it's an actual use case use case so we wouldn't be able to see any of this so i will only be able to see the books that's rated by me and then i can just use it to track you know, just for personal tracking in progress done and then we can do more on that like how many has been completed stuff like that but for now like so since the purpose is just to make like a rating so i just thought of like this is how you can just do the quick ratings and then show the overall uh, ratings for your book club so yeah if you're interested i'll share the templates on the youtube link below but then if you're interested in how to get started and do it, so this will be the second part of the video. So yeah, okay, so for now I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how you can do it step by step together. So just to show you how you can replicate this just for learning purposes. So for now, I mentioned earlier, so first thing is we need to have two databases. So let's just create a bottom here so I can have a reference. So database. So we call books database. Then the bottom here we can create another one database so i name it as a reading corner so i mean we can call it like a rating so it's up to you and then we can have two books yeah what books i have Let's see this book that i'm reading now is called the story of my experiments with truth by gandhi so i can write this one the story of my experiments with truth i'm gonna put the capital letter to all of them e. right so this first book we have, any books we have again, a, I like this book Ikigai, if you guys have read it before. Okay, so we have two books now, and then we want to link it to the reading corner. So what we can do is, uh, we can just delete this for now, just to be easier, delete property. Let me just teach you guys how we can actually add a new property. And then select relation. So you want to link from one database to another. That's how you need relation. So select relations. And then we select reading corner. 
and then we select low limit yeah so it means that they can add as many reviews or ratings they want and then show on reading, uh, reading corner so it means that once you select this you show up in here as well okay now that we have here so i'll just rename this set let me go in ratings and you can change this to like a star so it should be a star okay let me just close this off so you can see like you can even just start it out now for example I'll just type in name comments you can see it's actually show up here and then there's the book name and you can just delete the rest and then the next one steps you want to make sure that once we go inside you can actually select it so for now you can kind of select it from here but I like the new feature from notions where you can just tap this and then you can select show as as a page section so actually at the bottom here so if you actually just remove all this right i just like the overall uh, aesthetic of it i mean let's just turn off the comments function in this one and then we can just lock it so you can see like you can easily add the new ratings here the comments they show up here so I just like the aesthetic to be honest like, so that's kind of what I'm trying to go for here just to make it a bit cleaner I'm just trying to remove this actually All right. so there we have it but then we don't have actually the, the way to read uh, as well so the next step is going to go back to reading corner so we're going to add a new property so we're going to use the status property here I'm going to show you a little bit uh, later on why so basically now we just rename this reading then this one we can select as type please rate and then we can just delete this uh done button here so here you can put uh, one and more two three four five right so it's up to you you can have more than five but i prefer just the two five and then just kind of arrange it in the sequence and then we just change color to blue right so the reason why we use um, status property instead of uh, select property which if you have used it before let me just show you it's something very similar basically like you can do like one two three as well so we can do like a drop down basically the reason why i recommend uh, rating is that it actually automatically select a default for you so in our case we want to have like a please rate so that people can actually see so let me just show you now instead of talking so let's go to the story of my experiments with truth and then so why is it here so add rating and then add a new one so comments and you can see it's not shown here so there's a three dot here you select it and then just open this uh, ratings here okay that's where every time you create a new uh, ratings for yourself right you can just select here and then just select three so this high kind of how like it has a default functionality just to make it easier so maybe like Jessica so every time people select it and they can just uh, put it here all right so that's done so the next part is we want to calculate uh, the ratings right so you can see like a total average ratings of why people rate it so first of all uh, before you even uh, create anything in the books here so you need to kind of convert this into a number system so currently these are actually just text even though it's like one to five right so notion can actually sum it up so what we need to do is create a formula property so we can call it like a rating uh, convert to number let's make it more obvious and here there's a formula that we can use it's called uh, true number so this function so basically it turns any text booleans or dates into a number itself so in this case we want to change this rating is to text right so you can just press on this prop rating and then close it out and then you can see it's being changed into uh, numbers and then for those that don't have a number right so this rate will just become uh, empty so in this case it will be just zero now that we have that so we can go back to books database so we select new property so for those uh, who may be a bit new, more new to notion so we have relation and roll up so basically for roll up is when you want to get data from the other database in this case we want to get this uh, rating numbers right from reading corner that's why we need to use roll up so you can select roll up so you can just put like maybe uh average ratings and select relation so which data 
database that you need to select. So for now, we only have ratings. So just select rating and then which property you want to refer to. So there are four properties in total. So you want to refer to the rating convert to number. And then by default, you just show your original. It's like you just show like three to four. But there's a very nifty tool in Notion where you can just select different all time options. So in that case, we want to be average. So just select average. So this is where we get like an average 3.5. Then you can even have like a different uh, kind of stylized ways to showcase it. But I generally prefer, let's see, I don't think that's okay. I think this looks quite good also. Uh, we can go with this one. Like just a green color ball thing. That looks pretty, pretty good. And then that's how you can have it. So basically every time there's a new members they want to add a review, you can just press this. And then who else do I know? Uh, Samuel. Okay. Just put your rating here it's four it's automatically updated so there you have it so that's how you can create like a book tracker uh, for your team members all right so if you like the content so please subscribe and like my videos have a nice day